if a line has a gradient two-thirds, then find the gradient of A, all lines parallel to the given line, and B, all lines perpendicular. So, uh, part A, parallel lines, it's as simple as parallel lines have the same gradient. The gradient tells you how steep a line is, <clears throat> so if they're parallel, they must be exactly as steep as each other. Remember, steepness tells you, yes, that's quite a steep line, that's quite a negative steep line, that's not steep at all. So if I had two lines, the only way they can be parallel is if they have exactly the same gradient, because it tells you. Your gradient can be converted to an angle. You don't know yet, but you will know soon-ish. Parallel lines have the same gradient, so all lines parallel to a line with gradient two-thirds will have gradient two-thirds. And that's it. Part B, well it's a bit more complicated, but if you have perpendicular lines, their gradients are negative reciprocals of each other. So it's of each other. If you have the gradient of the second line, you take the negative reciprocal. That will give you the gradient of the first line. If you have the gradient of the first line, negative reciprocal, it will get you back to the gradient of the second line. So to find a negative reciprocal, you need it in fraction form, as an A over B form. This one already is. And then you literally, you turn it upside down and you change the sign. So if we have two thirds, what we need to do, we need to take the reciprocal, which is 3 over 2, and then we change the sign. If this had been negative to begin with, it would become positive. So the answer is 3 over 2. And that's it.